Kia ora, it's Ruth here and welcome to my backyard in Christchurch. Today I'm finally getting to some pre-spring prep and getting the glass house all ready to go for seeds. So we started making it kind of June, was going through July, it's now mid-August and it's pretty much done. We've just got to add the caps on the end so we can actually use the guttering and sort out the floor so that we don't have all these cracks and the grass. And so also what are we doing is adding some things in here as heat soaks because I know that it's getting really cold so last night I just checked it got to minus one and today it's got up to 33 and so I'd really like to see things level out. I'm going to be adding the vents so that the windows automatically open at the top to give some ventilation and then also adding some heat soaks such as here's some bricks down here ready to go so that overnight they retain some heat because I'm not going to be starting to do anything until tomatoes would be at least 10 overnight um, whereas other things like that some of the early early lettuces, early spinaches and some other things, probably about fives. So I'm really wanting to get things going but also not too early because if it does end up getting frosting you can get frosts in glass houses and I don't want to lose all my little seedlings. So here goes. So step one is having moved out the unnecessary junk. So the main thing is that it junk doesn't go back inside. Currently I've just got it sitting on the garden bed over here. But just moving it out already looks so much better because it's not full of junk. So next step is I'm going to grab a spade and just kind of scalp cut the roots of the grass but I'm not going to be fully taking it out because what I'll do is once I've just cut some of the roots I'm going to be putting cardboard on, wetting it and then having bark on top so the roots shouldn't grow again. So time to get a spade and cut those roots. Okay, so we've got the first layer of cardboard down. What I'm going to do is Caleb is currently cutting our big fridge box and that's going to be the second layer of cardboard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to water it. Now the reason I'm going to water it is that one, the glass house doesn't get any water naturally. If I don't water it, it will just stay and it won't actually decompose. Watering it before putting the mulch on will mean that it'll decompose and it'll just become part of the soil and the structure, which will support worms going to and fro the garden, just everything. So time to get the fridge box in. We are so close to being finished with this glass house now, which I'm really excited about and I'm already using it. So we've finished putting the floor stuff in. It's just kind of rough for now, but that's how it's going to be. We've finished putting the capping in. We've put our automatic window vents in, which is fantastic. The main things we need to do is finish off this guttering. So you can see along here there's a gutter, but currently there's nothing coming out. We've got, hello Shadow, we have our big black tub that we're going to be putting in probably around about here so that we can plumb it in with these ends and get another bit here so that we can collect all the water from the roof that we can use straight in the garden and probably the other last thing is to make some bunting I know it's not actually necessary for a glass house to have bunting but I'm really keen on it so that will be done too before spring comes now I am getting a bit excited a bit early it's not yet September and I know that even in Christchurch September can be really dodgy and not very good as spring but I've decided I've got this glass house I'm going to see what I can do. So I've already got some things growing, some things such as the tomatoes and I've got some capsicums and some chilies and they're still going inside every night because I know it is a little bit cold in here. It doesn't echo nearly as much now that I've got the plants and the floor in. So I'll just show you the floor. So what we've used is we've just used some the mulch that we you saw us putting down and these bricks I've just put randomly around for now but they are really nice and warm. They're really maintaining the temperature overnight. And my hope is that I'll add some heat sinks in here as well with some water bottles so that I can keep it warm, more regular temperature. I've had these little vents open every now and then, which is really great for some extra airflow. But what I love is this vent here and this vent here automatically open when it gets too warm. And so I'm not worried about everything being closed up if I forget to open either those vents or the main door. Here you can see kind of what I've got going. These are the different tomatoes and I've got an eggplant here as well. This is mother of all herbs that I got from my wonderful neighbours. Here's some general greens, got some peas and these are all the newest ones that I've planted, all different types of flowers 
And down here I've got my capsicums and my chilies. And what I did was I actually, rather than starting those from seeds when I was at the garden centre, I saw some six packs and I thought, first year growing capsicums and chilies, I might as well start with a head start. So I've mo moved them all so they're in bigger containers. And then I'll probably put them on the ground in here once I can guarantee we're not going to get any frosts overnight. So it's quite warm in here. Let's see what the temperature is. Well, it got up to just over 30 so far. It's about 27 at the moment. Low last night was four degrees. So it's still definitely too cold to have things in here, such as the tomatoes and the eggplants overnight. But the other things, oh, and the chilies and capsicums, but the peas and the other ones, they're okay. Definitely good to start off in here. And as spring comes, I'll be able to start more and more things in here and plant them into the garden. And that's one thing I'm really keen on doing. I'm gonna move out of here because it's too warm. That's one thing I'm really keen on making sure I do this year is starting things in the glass house, then transferring them outside to acclimatise then into the garden rather than planting straight in the garden. And in the next little while I'll do an update of kind of why I want to do that and how I'm going to be doing things. So spring is coming really soon. I'm getting really excited. We'll see how the season goes and I'll try and do more and more videos as I'm able to get into the garden more and more as spring is coming. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to see all my Christchurch updates, remember to subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Ka kite.